Hi, I'm Rod York with Rycor, and I'm going to go over the procedure on how to cut a sink out to eliminate most of your blowouts. First rule of cutting the sink out is let the diamond do the work. Okay, what you're going to do is you're not going to break a sweat as you're going around. But what you want the motor to do is actually do the work. So as you're cutting a sink out, you'll actually hear the motor winding down and trying to do the work. Second of all, nice and smooth, easy motion, and you're going to go round and round and round as you go down. Step at a time. The faster you turn the hand crank, the harder it is to push. So if it gets too hard to push, slow down on the hand crank. The other way of doing it is going a quarter turn, going around, go a quarter turn, go around. I find it easier to just go ahead and keep your hand up here and one here as you go around, nice and smooth. On a 2210, it should take four seconds to go completely around the sink. We're gonna go all the way around and we're gonna go down until we hear the stone, the stone start hissing. And the best way to tell is to stick your finger in the groove as you're cutting the sink and you'll feel the bottom of the, the granite and when you start getting close, that's when you start listening for the hissing noise. At that point, we're gonna stop and we're gonna go up against the template and we're gonna go down as we go back and forth, just like this. And as you go down, go all the way through a sixteenth of an inch and then you're going to push it very slowly and you're going to cut the last part of the diamond or the granite with the side of the diamond, not the bottom. And I'm going to show that when we do this. So we're going to get down to the bottom, we're going to go back and forth as we go down. We're going to go all the way through the granite, the water will come out of the bottom. And then we're going to do the last sixteenth or eighth of an inch of granite with the side of the diamond. And we're going to go all the way to the back with it. And when we get back here, then we're going to come up and we're going to come here and we're going to do the very front of it, and we're going to, lap, again, cut the last little bit of granite uh, with the side of the diamond, that's going to eliminate all your blowouts. And what you want to do is get comfortable and put your weight on the table. Put one hand on the table here and then one hand on the raised lower. Okay? So that way, if you're going around, you can use it to push and pull, and you can control your depth at the same time. Okay? And it's all about how comfortable you are. hissing noise coming from the bottom of the granite. the head up and just take another layer off. And 
then lower it back down again. Sixteenth of an inch below the granite and then do the rest. Push it back. 